Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back. Uh, been a couple days and been a crazy week for me at work. Uh, so, haven't been able to record much. Uh, definitely haven't been able to get out to shoot. Haven't been able to find ammo. Um, so, what I wanted to cover today was my gear. It is what I've accumulated so far, what I've decided to use. Um, and I would love, at the end of this, in the comments, uh, give me some feedback. Let me know if there's something else you think I need. Uh, I know there's things I don't have yet that I need to get. Uh, some things out there that, you know, they say, hey, you know, this is, you know, key thing to have for, for trying to pursue this long range shooting. Um, so the first thing I'm going to cover would be my rifle. We talked about it in my introduction. Is yeah, so I'll grab it right here. Is uh, my Halo Mini Action 1500 chamber 6.5 Brindle. Um, so pretty basic gun, uh, chassis style rifle, Nico Sterling scope, uh, bipod. Um, class of bus stock, uh, nothing too crazy about it. Uh, I've done just very minimal changes. Only thing I did was a different bus stock, which I'll probably end up changing again. Is something with a adjustable sheet riser. Um, the only other thing was adding a, uh, a muzzle brake to it to give you know you know a little bit of a, a better look for me. That's just my personal opinion. Um, so it's been pretty good the scope i like it uh been been able to dial it in the rifle shoots fantastic bolts super smooth um so i'll go you know nothing too crazy about the bolt doesn't get hung up so, you know especially for being a used gun it's, it's it's pretty great uh so let's move on you know since you guys already know about all that stuff you know you've seen you know you've seen the, the rifle in the introduction video uh next thing i bought was uh spotting scope is uh there's so many different spotting scopes out there right now is um you can spend anywhere from a hundred less than a hundred dollars all the way up to fifteen hundred dollars from what i've seen um being as I tr i'm trying to do this on a budget i'm not going to spend fifteen hundred dollars on a spotting scope right now uh so i found this one at academy sports uh it's just the east coast company similar to dick sporting goods uh big five here on the west coast uh so but it's nothing super fancy but i paid 100 bucks for it and it's got a really cute clear view it's a uh, 20 to 60 and i've been able to use it and get what i needed out of it uh, and this is something key to be able to to really get into this long range shooting you know, luckily for me i have a very supportive wife who really enjoys shooting as well so she's been able to be a good spotter for me um is one other addition i'm going to get to it is a phone mount to be able to you know record some of that stuff for you guys so you guys can see impact uh when i'm out there at the range when i finally get back out there uh so if you're in the market for an inexpensive spotting scope this is this is a really good choice as a fire field uh 20 to 60 uh you know, I believe it was a 60 millimeter uh lens is so it's a it's a good starting spotting scope to get you where you want to be and be able to see what you need to see um you know there's no need to rush out there and buy a loophole or a vortex something you know super high dollar i mean unless you just got that kind of money where you just wanna, you don't care and you want the best of the best. Uh, the next thing I did and I found very important, especially when I'd used it in the Marine Corps, was uh, a dope book. Is, you know, we didn't we didn't call it a dope book in the military, we called in the Marine Corps, we called it a rifle book. Is uh, there are a jillion different ones out there. You can buy them on Amazon, you can buy them at the, you know, gear stores, you can buy them anywhere online. Uh, but they can get a little pricey. You know, found, ones I found on Amazon, $45 is a sound, found some are $12. But each one had its own different little features. Some I liked, some I didn't. So what I actually ended up doing was I went online and I looked at some just different dope cards that I liked. Is And I basically built my own. Is what I wanted out of it. So... I'll show you just a card I've made is nothing fancy. I can record my shots, you know, date, time, location, the rifle, the scope, which ammunition I'm shooting, how far I'm shooting, the altitude I'm shooting from, what the humidity level is, temperature, barometric pressure, whether it's a mirage, 
uh, what kind of wind and light I'm dealing with, and then obviously my shot calls is uh i think it's very important to use these shot calls uh, i did a lot in the military when i was shooting on the rifle range is you know you make your hold you pull you pull your shut trigger and you see where you believe your shot was is then you record it in your little you know your shot call box and then you record it on your actual target box so, but I made this myself. It's, you know, on Excel. <laughs> you know, I'm decent with Excel, so I use it for work, I use it for school. It is And I got a little section down here to record any notes you may have. Uh, what I did was I actually made one double-sided that I laminated. It is that I can use out there on the range, use a map pen, make my, you know, write down my dope. And then I actually took an old book I had from the Marine Corps, and I actually made copies and I put them in there so I could actually log my shots from different days different things so you know I can go back and reference this material and figure out what I'm doing uh last thing I've gotten since then I uh, just actually got it out of the mailbox today was uh I believe they call it an anemometer but I just call it a wind meter is this is kind of key um I got it for 15 dollars on Amazon it gives me the wind speed and it gives me a temperature it is and that plays a big factor especially when you start getting out further and further and further uh for your shots is you don't have to so much worry about the wind at you at the shooting position you have to worry about that wind at the target it is because the further and further you go the muzzle a lot the velocity of that bullet has reduced significantly so the wind is going to have a greater effect on that bullet so you can there's times where you're going to have to do a, a large hold off to compensate for that wind is you know i'm a, I'm a hold off guy uh i don't I, not that i don't believe in using the turret for wind adjustments i just believe it's a lot easier to do a hold off is so that, i mean that's something that's key you know you go down there to your target you get a wind reading you you know, you can just get an average. Okay, the wind is blowing at, you know, seven miles an hour from right to left or left to right, or it's a quarter value wind or a half value wind is, it gives you an idea what kind of adjustments you're gonna need to make. So there's other things that I don't have yet. Some things that uh, I don't need right away. Uh, one, things that, one of the things I read was a chronograph. Um, I think that's going to become a key thing when I get into reloading ammunition. Make sure I have a good muzzle velocity. You know, I know what the muzzle velocity of my rounds are. Uh, but until I'm getting reloading, I don't see the necessity of having a chronograph. A lot of rounds, Hornaday out there, you know, gives you the muzzle velocity. And the way these things are manufactured, you're not going to be so far off that it's going to make a huge difference from round to round. Is so that's something I haven't I haven't gotten. I don't think I need right away. Um, other than that, like I said, this is still something new for me. Is so any suggestions you have on what I may need to get to help me with this? You know, different pieces of gear. I mean, obviously, I can always get a better rifle. I can always get a better scope. Is but that's right now not an option. So anything that you think will help me, I would love to hear back from you guys. I appreciate the love I've gotten on the first video. You know, that means a lot to me. Is so keep stay tuned, check it out. Is there's gonna be more to come. I'll cover different things I'm doing, and obviously as soon as I can get out to the range, I'll get some range footage for you and we'll get you know get you get you what you want you really want to see. So I uh, appreciate you watching. Appreciate all of you guys. Love you and peace out.